my career got a start because of Mr. Near Passion, because of the BMW Junior team. And I'm sure that Mark will tell you exactly the same thing. It was the first opportunity we had to drive in a professional setting with responsibilities to a manufacturer. And uh, we were very uh, ambitious and we were overly aggressive on the racetrack. But we got to drive against drivers like Ronnie Peterson. Do any of you know who Ronnie Peterson is? Probably not. I've heard of Ronnie Peterson. Yeah, he was phenomenal. He was probably the most talented race car driver of that era. And he was in the same car we were in. And we were racing against him at Nürburgring, at the old Nürburgring. So to have that opportunity presented to you that early in your career made an enormous, an enormous impact on me. But on all of us, it gave us an understanding of what we'd have to do to be successful. And only, there were no other programs in the world like the BMW Junior program. I and mean, it was the first year they did it. I, I'm glad to see that it's continued and done so well. But I, I'm, I came here to say thank you to Yoke and, and thank you to BMW after 40 years. I did wait a long time to say thank you, but it's always good that you do it sooner or later. Watching the movie, something you probably never will experience, but we really were free to go. Oh, yeah. There was no order, nothing at all. We were banging each other as well, a little bit, you know, not so hard, but we were touching each other. We were fighting against each other. We were racing free with yeah. any order. The only thing they wanted us to do was to make sure we beat Ford. If we beat Ford, that, that would be you nice. get away with all sorts of <laughs> sins as long as you beat Ford. <laughs> yeah. And we thought to have three people, three young drivers together in one class racing against the seniors, uh, the learning curve, curve is quicker than if you go on your own because you had always a competition under each other. By the second race, we had a really big following to every race that we went to. And there were people that would be looking for the junior team to see what sort of crazy things they would do that day. <laughs> and it, it almost became hard to, it, as a driver to, to manage. <laughs> you can see you guys are like still good friends and um, you know, you can see it taught you guys a lot. So, you know, some bits are comparable, but at the same time, you know, the modern era and the modern age and stuff has sort of changed, you know, it's a lot more simulator and fitness. It would be cool if we could bring back some old school features as well. I've always said I wanted to be born in the 70s, or to be racing in the 70s and 80s, because back then the, you had to really like drive the cars. There was no ABS, no traction control, nothing. You really, it was just the driver and the car. Well, this is pretty important that you just look also for the other driver and um, yeah, not thinking like, a, like an ego, you know? And yeah, not thinking about yourself and work together. Yeah. How many, how many times did you send us to the Nürburgring before the first race to learn the track? You remember that? How many times we went? Yeah, to we get went with a road car and we followed him. Oh, he was sure. he he knew the Nürburgring very well and we had to follow him. Yeah. And he crashed. Yes, I did. I <laughs> <laughs> the road car. I, I was adjusting the radio. I, yeah, that's very true. <laughs> but but he told me how. Tell us how you prepared for the Nürburgring. This pretty much every professional driver has a simulator at home like a computer and, and proper sim set with uh, steering wheel pedals and, and proper sim rig. So like the way I learned it was, was with Gran Turismo. So I just did many, many laps, even before I ever knew I was gonna go to Notch Life because it was the coolest track you could do in the game. Mm -hmm. and, and the first time I, I showed up at Notch Life, was like I came at home because I had done so many laps in the sim. Yeah. There's something you wanna try at the track? and you don't know if you're gonna crash, you can try it in the simulator. And if you crash in the simulator, it doesn't matter. If you would have tried in real, you would have crashed the car, maybe. The respect of maybe getting hurt, some, some of the drivers nowadays, they, they just lost it completely. And so you're showing a lot of maturity. Yeah, that's something you have to, yeah, you have to remind yourself. Yeah. So BMW is in connection with Formula Medicine, which is helping with mental training, uh, physic, physic stuff. Uh, so there you, you learn something. It's not everything that, that you can use because we're all different as a person. Uh, but you grab a lot of things that gives you an idea of, of where you can improve yourself. You have to press two buttons like if it's right or wrong and your heart rate goes up to 120 but you're just sitting in a chair pushing two buttons. It's because your mind is really so focused and then they teach you like to be more relaxed and then your heart rate goes down even though you do the same.
um, and then I got picked up by the by the junior team and uh, with BMW. And I don't think that if I had BMW, for sure I wouldn't be racing. So you know, it's the most important thing I think for all of us as well. It was the same for us. I mean, I, I did uh, Formula Three before. Uh, I was um, working as a mechanic in a Formula Three team, and instead of getting paid, I was allowed to do some races, and I did well. I was uh, fine, finished second in the German uh, Formula 3 championship, and that's why he, he invited me. And but I had no way to continue because they said next year we don't cannot do this anymore because it costs us a lot of money. I mean, the most expensive mechanic we had. <laughs> but uh, you know, and, and so without BMW, I. I would have go back and yeah, I would be a farmer as well. Maybe. So what you say, it's not one particular goal. As juniors, I think we have to be very adaptive. So already I've done DTM tests, I've done Formula E tests, I've done GT3 tests, I've done GT4 tests, I've done 235 at Nürburgring. I've been given so many opportunities and it's opened my scope to so many different forms of racing. As you said, the future is for sure GT and uh, it goes away from, from the Formula side and more into GT and that's why I think the program uh, is, is great for that time right now. Yeah. I think you're much better prepared because also you started much younger. I started karting at 17 because my father said, well, what is this shit for, you know, do something proper. And, uh, and these days the father is giving you the card, you know, it's, it's, it has completely changed. Or now maybe it's in future the simulator, but... Uh, so I think you're much better prepared than we ever were. So all of you here have been chosen because of your talent and your determination and all the abilities that you have. So just by the fact that you're learning off each other, I think you have a big advantage over everybody else that is not here. But spend, spend your time with people that are winners, people that that do what you do, but do it a little bit better than you do. The only advice I can give you, you have heard everything now, keep trying hard and never give up. It's very important. Well, I think this is wonderful. It's nice to meet all of you. You're very lucky. Yeah. And we meet again in 40 years, and then we <laughs> listen to them. <laughs>